Hello, human-shaped friends. I'm here painting another mushroom. Uh, it is the Viscuit Violet Mushroom, which personally is a lot of fun to say. I would recommend you give it a try. Viscuit Violet. Viscuit Violet. Oh, the audacity. What a Viscuit Violet thing to say. Why did I say it like that? I don't know. It might be the rabbit hole of insanity I'm currently swimming in. Can you swim in a rabbit hole? I know you can flood a rabbit hole. Don't. Don't flood rabbit holes. Le leave rabbits alone. Leave the bunnies alone. I used to live in a kind of suburby area with bunnies. And they were so cute. They weren't there to hurt anyone. No. They were just floopy. They had the little floopy ears. And in the springtime, when all the baby bunnies would come out, they were the cutest things. Did they give me severe anxiety anytime I was driving? Absolutely. Did I have to pull over multiple times when I lived in that area because I thought I hit one and I couldn't stop crying? Yes, that is also true. Were the people who were in the car with me try to assure me that no, I didn't, I didn't hit the bunny. The bunny is fine. And they would like look for me and the bunny was in fact fine, but that didn't stop me from crying. All true. All of that is true. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I took my driving test, uh, the written portion, I got every single, you know, question right. As you should, if you study. Okay, that was a little, that was a little judgy. Um, to me, it was very easy because I have a lot of anxiety around cars. So I felt like if I understood the rules around the cars, then I would have an easier time existing in a world where they are necessary. Now, obviously that didn't work. I don't drive anymore. Um, but that's why when it came to my driving test, I literally read the, you know, manual once and then I was good. I am not everyone. And if you got the minimum passing score, that is 100% fine. My standards are mine. They are very harsh. They are often unkind. That's just due to the environment I was raised in. Anyway, back to the bunnies. So I had to look the tester in the eye and said the following. I know that this question and the question was you see an animal in the road do you stop swerve or just keep driving now they very they were very specific that it's a small animal because obviously if it's a deer or an elk or a moose or something you stop that animal can kill you and your car <laughs> but that's why they were like small animal and i had to go up and i was like i know that the answer is you keep going straight but I couldn't do that. And the you know person was like, that's fair. You got that one wrong. And I was like, I know. But I, I couldn't do that. And it's true, I couldn't do that. I still can't do that. I'm now only ever a passenger in a car. And anytime there's a small animal, I have to close my eyes or I will start crying if we're even anywhere close to it. Now why? Why would I be crying? I don't know. <laughs> I wish I knew. Um, it might have something to do with a loss of innocence. It might have something to do with taking a life. It might have something to do with humanity's overtaking of nature and putting in these terrifying mechanisms that creatures not only do not understand, but cannot truly coexist with. Who knows? I certainly don't know, mostly because I don't think about it that much. <laughs> But what I do know is don't purposefully hurt the animals. It's not good for anyone. It's not good for you. It's not good for the environment. It's definitely not good for the animals. Where am I going with this? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry. This is why I feel like I'm going further and further into the depths of insanity. I have been having a very hard time with nature recently. Um, I'm allergic to the world 
and being outside is often very painful, at least when things are green. When everything is dying, like in fall or winter, I'm much better off. But <laughs> I don't know, this year it just feels like it's even harder. And being inside all the time is not good for your mental health. We all learned that. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's my tangent. I hope you like the video. At the very least, I hope you like the mushroom. Um, have a good day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.